I'll talk about something that we've done at Columbia, which I think is pretty forward thinking. And then something I'm working on, you know, just aside from that. Um, so at Columbia, you know, so here we were February of 2020 and, you know, looking at, I don't know, $19 million worth of business, right. That which we booked basically, because our, our, the in-person exec ed market is a really long cycle market. Uh, and that just went poof. <laughs> And so after about two weeks of sort of saying, what do we do? I, I, I sat down with our dean and I said, look, I, you know, people are not going to stop needing to learn and executives are not going to stop needing to be developed. And this is going to be a need there. We've just got to figure out some different way of doing it. So what we pivoted to was what we're calling live online. And uh, so it's this kind of format, actually, very discussion oriented with, um, you know, the usual cast of professors. And we learned a bunch of things. So one of the things we learned was that there's an absolute hunger for it. Second thing we learned was that um, that that we broadened the, the 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 population of people that could that we could serve you know that could come and join us because it didn't matter if you were in Hong Kong or Malaysia or Nigeria or wherever you could dial in as long as you had an internet connection which even then was a little dicey for some folks we had people on the phone you know <laughs> there was a big wind. <laughs> Um, so we learned we could reach a lot more people. We also learned that we could experiment with different formats. So rather than everybody comes to New York and we hang out for three days and you know, it's fire hose. Um, for example, with um, one of my courses, um, I extended it over a number of weeks. And so it was less intense during the week, but spread out longer. So you could actually take the concepts and apply them and then come back and talk about what you did and ask questions about what you were learning. So it integrated the learning much more with people's work. And I actually think that model is going to continue even once we're able to have in-person classes again, because I think it meets a different need. 